Hey guys, and welcome to week six. Today I am six weeks pregnant. Um, and let me just say that morning sickness has really kicked in. Like, worse than when I was pregnant with Austin. A lot worse. So. It kind of starts off in the morning when I wake up, or even before I wake up, I just feel blur, and so it's a bit of a struggle for me to get out of bed, and when I do, just the thought of food is totally off-putting, but it sucks because I have to, like, give Austin breakfast, and... Yeah, it's really hard to do. So, yeah, it's been a bit of a struggle in the mornings. Because um, I know I like need to eat because I'll feel better after I do, but just trying to find out what I can eat that's not going to make me feel totally sick. Um, yeah, that's a bit of a mission. But I found that um, cold, icy liquid things help a lot. Iced water or those frozen icy pole tube things are good. Um, and But yeah, they kind of only last while I'm eating them and I feel okay but then afterwards it comes back again. So the nausea lasts like all morning and then Lunch time's usually good, and then after lunch is okay, and then it usually comes back in the afternoon as well. And yeah. I just totally can't stand the thought, or even oh, like when I open the fridge or the pantry, just looking at food totally makes me go that. <laughs> yeah, it's weird, very weird. But yeah, just the things that I used to eat and love, I just can't stand the thought of now. So, yeah, that's kind of been an experience, but yeah. Um, apart from morning sickness, I have also been very tired and um, low in energy as well. Like, um, oh, we went to um, Australia Zoo the other day for to celebrate Austin's fourth birthday and um it was good until about two o'clock in the afternoon and I just couldn't stop yawning and like when I yawn it's like it goes on forever it's like a really crazy yawn um yeah and so we went home about 3 30 and I was just out to it like that in the car <laughs> and um, um yeah so I slept the whole way home and it's really funny when I sleep when I'm pregnant because I'm so out to it I make this really weird noise and it happened last time when I was pregnant with Austin and so like I'll be sleeping and I'll be going hmm Hmm. <laughs> and it's so funny because sometimes I do it and it wakes me up. <laughs> Austin, shh. And um, yeah, and it wakes me up when I do it. And I'm like, oh, I just made the noise again, didn't I? <laughs> so yeah, my husband was laughing at me. It was pretty funny. I was. Yes, I know you were, Austin. <laughs> um, so yeah, I remember doing the only time I've ever done it is when I was pregnant with Austin as so, well. So. It's quite funny doing that because I'm just so out to it, you know. Yeah. Yep. You are. <laughs> it's been really funny because I've like been telling Austin what's happening, like through the whole thing. Yes, and you saying, have to Austin, me. out you go, please. Been telling him that there's a baby in mummy's tummy and it's gonna get bigger. And soon I'm gonna have a bump. And then he'll be able to feel the baby moving and hear the heartbeat. He's very excited about that. <clears throat> I've got a heartbeat too. Yes, you do have a heartbeat too. <laughs> um, 
Um, I went to see my doctor last week and she has referred me to an obstetrician at a private hospital because <clears throat> she said if I don't do it now then I'll miss out on getting one but because I don't really want to have this um, birth in a hospital I want to have a home birth with a private midwife and um, it's really hard to get a private midwife here and so yeah my doctor was just saying that I should get an obstetrician as well just to make sure that there's someone to care for me and then I can I've got up to like 20 weeks to decide like what I'm gonna do so hopefully I'll be able to have the home birth that I want so that would be good I went to the, get some books the other day because I want to start um, tracking this pregnancy in a journal because I didn't do it with my last one with Austin so I got this really cool journal it's called butterflies and hiccups and it's just got like monthly month one and then it, um, I've already filled in month one of course so it just asks questions about describe how you felt the moment you found out you were pregnant and symptoms and stuff like that so basically it just asks you every question there is about pregnancy and so yeah it does that all the way up and then the questions kind of change a bit every month depending on the stage the baby's at and stuff like that so that's quite a cool pregnancy journal that I got and of course I got what to expect when you're expecting because even though I've already had one I still don't know what to expect because <laughs> each pregnancy is different and this one is the fourth edition so it's been completely revised and updated so that'll be a good read yeah when I get the time because I've just been so busy last week and finally this week I've had two days to relax and do nothing which is all I want to do really because I just can't be bothered doing anything else and, so and tell, it's been good to and, do nothing and tell, and tell yourself about a zoo tell about the zoo? yeah I did tell them about the zoo. Huh? You tell them about the zoo. Did you like going to the zoo? No, 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 tell yourself for the zoo. Tell myself about the zoo. Yeah. Alright. Did you get your face painted like a tiger? Yep. Was that cool? Yep. And you were going, rawr. Rawr! Rawr, rawr, So you were a very scary tiger, weren't you? Yeah. Alright. Okay, mummy's turn now. Okay, so, um, I guess I'll show you my belly again. Not that it's changed at all, but I guess I'll just keep doing it. Anyway, it's so hot here today. It's getting really hot now, so. Um, Hello! Welcome to What's Your I don't know how I did this last time. I probably did it too high last time, so I'm sorry about that. Um, Hello, welcome to Faith. It's so lot of fun. Oh look, yeah, I think I did it too high last time. So if I do it there, um, just under the sun, my tattoo, because like when I thought about it, the baby's gonna pop out down here, not up there. So down here is thirty-one and a quarter. Inches. I'm turning around. So that's for week six, and I will eventually start doing my weight as well. But I'm waiting on getting some good scales, some digital scales. So I should get some soon. Sorry, I'm not a bit more chipper today, but yeah, yeah I'm just so blah out of it and tired. <laughs> But still, I'm enjoying being pregnant and 
We're excited. I'm just enjoying the symptoms, even though they're not very enjoyable. And the first trimester isn't the most exciting part of pregnancy, being that you can't really see the baby yet or anything or feel it or anything. You feel the worst. Like symptom wise, so three, one, three, two, yeah, I can't three, wait two, until I'm in the three, second trimester, or at least till I can start seeing a little four, bump growing. Three, five, three, six, three, okay, seven, three, okay, guys, and three, I'll see nine. you next week. Bye.